Tag Kamaradin, or hello, welcome to History Saver 1941. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And we are less than 10 subscribers away from 1,000 subscribers. That's awesome. That is very awesome. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support on the channel. And also, if you did not know, we are on TikTok as well, just for fun, and to help promote the YouTube channel here. Um, and that is History Saver 1941 YouTube. So you look us up on TikTok, History Saver 1941 YouTube. You can find us on there now. Um, we've been there for a while. I just haven't really said anything about it. I don't know. I don't get on it that much, honestly. But I had someone ask me, like, what channels do I watch um, that pertains to World War II history and reenacting? Because there's a ton of ration channels I watch. Um, and you guys know those because if you don't, then watch some other videos um, because I mention those guys every video. And I don't want to confuse you, so I'm going to stick on this one to the question and what World War II reenacting YouTube channels do I watch that pertain to World War II reenacting? That would be um, World War II um, history and reenacting, one of my favorite channels. Um, very cool channel. Love that channel. Um, Reenactment Days, I'm actually a pretty big fan of that guy. Um, History Secrets is by far my favorite channel. And then, uh, of course, World War II Freak is one. Uh, Panzer Soldat one is another I uh, watch. And there's there's a, there's a lot of them. World War II Weeking, probably not saying that right, but uh, that's another channel I watch. Um, World War II, uh, this is not re really reenacting, but more of a World War II um, channel and that is a uh, um well i can't think of the name of it anyway i'll leave i'll leave some uh war two channels in the description of this video for you guys to check out uh just the names of some channels but that's not what this video is about uh what this video is about is we have a field post i'm going to take uh play off the book of my one of my favorite channels war two history reenacting we have fail post, and what do we get in today's fail post? Well, this very big box. This is from Wars and Shop. You can visit them warsandshop.com. I highly recommend these guys, especially if you're looking for personal items. Um, best place to go, and most of it is original material. So, and the prices are awesome. I think I just broke my knife. Anyway, um, let's open this box up and get right into the, this unboxing. I am so looking forward to what's in this box and looking forward to showing you guys what's in this box because I ordered it. So I know what's in, going to be in the box. Um, however, sometimes he does throw freebies in here. So what I'm going to do, I have no idea what that was. My first what? item. Check this out. Oh my gosh. Let's, uh, let's get it out the bag here. This is an original from the World War II time frame. World War II History Hunter. That's the name of the channel. <laughs> I told you I will remember it in a minute. But uh, this is very cool. This is a basically coffee can from the 1930s and 40s. And Rutten Gold um, basically is a kind of like a coffee can in a way. Um, I think. I don't know. But it feels like there's something in here. I don't know what could be in here. Oh, the can latches. Let's see. Uh, plastic. Plastic. Oh. You guys are going to love this. Okay, let's try to keep everything together here. You guys are going to love what's inside this tin. We'll save that for just a minute. So I'm going to keep you guys in suspense. The next item to come out is a couple of items, actually. One is a newspaper, and it is dated 1935, original, from World War II. And, oh my gosh, this is so neat. All in German. And there's also another item in here that I'll explain what it is in just one second. Okay, we're going to leave the bag here, too. 
Check this out. This is a German newspaper from 1935, original. And wow, looks like there's two parts to it here. Let's be fairly careful with this. But uh, <laughs> check that out. Very cool. And these are some items that get help with your impression. Just simple personal things like this. Um, wow. There is some writing of some sort in pencil at the top. I really don't know what it is. And then uh, something beware of avalanches on the bottom. Anyway, I, I'll have to kind of decipher this paper a little bit later because I'm not the best at reading German. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. And then we also have some German World War II. Uh, this is basically a folder, uh, just a file folder uh, for a desk. Um, this was one of the common items you'll see on a World War II desk. And that's what I got it for, you know, for is in here. And also for our German World War II setup, uh, this is freaking cool. So yeah, just simple things like that that other people may pass by, I find really cool. I mean, yeah, uh, it's a little bit nutty, I know, but it is what it is. I honestly have no idea. Um, just double checking, make sure everything's good. All right, so looks like we got everything out the box. This I did not order. Honestly, I don't know what this is. It could be something. I don't know. Uh, piece of plastic. But there is a light in this can. So let's go ahead. Let's take our first item out and let's see what we've got. First item rolled in some paper. Packed very well. Oh. Oh. Now this, I do believe, um, is just an office item. This would have been for tape, I believe. I could be wrong. Um, but all original from World War II. Yeah, I believe this is a tape dispenser, if I'm not mistaken. Um, very cool. Very cool item. You can see the top there. The top on the bottom. Wow, very cool. That is, that is really neat. Oh, I know what this is. Again, packaged very nicely. And all this, is, all these are original items from World War II. I don't think I ordered anything that's reproduction. Um, this is very cool. This is a World War II American ashtray. And it was, uh, it's stamped Samuel Lewis Incorporated. 73 Barclay Street, New York City, made in the USA. So basically a, a Bakelite or Backlight ashtray from World War II, um, from the 30s and 40s, and also another cool desk item. So very cool, very, very, very cool. Just for decoration. Oh wow, we've got a bag full of goodies here. Okay, so we are going to go through this I'm going to tell you guys what it is as I pull it out. Oh, it looks like he sent us some free stuff, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, some kind of receipt paper. Pretty cool. And on the back um, is Edka. And on the back, uh, Josef Rannen. I'm not even going to try. But um, it's from the 1940s. You got 194 right there. Um, probably can't see it. Matter of fact, I know you can't, but it says 194, so from the 1940s is World War II dated, all original. And then we got some period labels, very cool. Um, got actually two of these, and we could put these on a bottle um, and recreate a wine bottle or beer bottle or something like that. And then we've got a V for Victory notepad card. Pretty cool. And I believe we threw those in for free. I don't think I'll order those. So thank you to uh, Ward's End Shop for that. Very, very cool gift. Um, we also have a pencil, original from World War II. This is a German pencil, and it has A.W. Faber, Decian, 
1386 number two. So this is a number two German pencil from World War II. Pretty cool. Um, pretty small filling pencil. A lot smaller than today's pencils. Oh, this is a very cool item as well. This is a box of thumbtacks from World War II. All original. German therm German thumbtacks from World War II. Um, Elda thumbtacks. And the best part about it, it's completely full. Like, these are thumbtacks from World War II unused. How cool is that? Am I going to use these? Eh, probably not. But very cool desk item to keep here. And the box is not in the best shape in the world. It does a piece of wood just actually come off. Um, but this is a wood box. They don't make them like that anymore, do they? Very cool. They have some thumbtacks from World War II. Who has German thumbtacks from World War II? There's not many people. So pretty cool. I know I, I'm, it's a little bit loopy, but it is what it is. I know what this item is as well. Now this is a reproduction item. I did forget about this one. But this is a reproduction pencil sharpener from World War II, I believe. I think that's what this is. So reproduction pencil, no, no, this is an ink holder from World War II. This is original. This is the original backlight ink holder from World War II. And uh, excuse me, sometimes you forget what you ordered. But uh, this is a backlight inkwell from World War II, German inkwell, original. Um, and just to let you guys know, I ordered this stuff Saturday, and it's already here on Wednesday. It's a very quick, very quick turnaround time. Words in the shop has always been like that. I'll always receive my stuff on time, like three days later. You can't find a better place to order from. This is a cool item. Another original item from World War II. And this is something I've been trying to find for a while. This is an original World War II German um, hole puncher. And it's a two hole puncher. This was for files and different things and this is what it was meant for. And this file is actually a two prong file which means I could recreate documents and use my original hole puncher. Very, very cool. And it is stamped um, Scheinecken, I'm not saying it right. But uh, it is from World War II, dated 1942, I believe. Maybe. But uh, yeah, pretty cool, neither or less. That is really neat. Just another thing you can add to your impression to make it that much more better. Next item is ink ribbon holder for a typewriter. Uh, Pelican ink ribbon holder from World War II, German Pelican ink ribbon holder. And it has a lot of writing on the back. Gunther Wagner Pelican. You see that very cool front on this thing too. Seems to be brass. Very clean on the inside. Another very cool office idol. Okay. No, we're not done yet. A lot of goodies in here. Oh, this is cool. This is extremely cool. Oh, got some items inside of this. But this, my friends, is a German bake light cup from World War II. Original. Um, and it's just a German drinking cup. So very cool item to add for reenactments or for just in here. <laughs> Man, this is neat. This is neat. We'll definitely be using this. Very small drinking cup, though. I don't think that would, you know, quench your thirst, but who knows what they put in there, if you know what I mean. Um, this item is a reproduction. This is the one I thought the other was, actually. The inkwell, this is what I thought the inkwell was, but it was not. This is a reproduction German pencil sharpener from World War II. Exact copy. No difference between this and the original. And it's even stamped DUX Germany on the inside. There's no difference between the original and this other than one is new, one is old. Check that out. That is really, really neat. So, another cool little desk aisle. Oh, also, 
I almost forgot. Um, I think this is dated 1940, and this is a Pelican eraser. I'm going to leave this in the bag. It is a Pelican eraser. So just a pencil eraser um, from Pelican, dated 1940. Pretty cool. Pretty cool auto. So we're going to set that there. Now, what is this? Let's take a look here. Oh. Oh. Oh, you guys are going to love this. You guys are going to love this. I'm going to love this. This is so cool. This is original from World War II, and it looks brand spanking new. Wow. This is original, and it's brand spanking new. And holy, holy Madonna. Holy Madonna. This is an original German World War II cigarette roller. Or maybe it's not original. They got me. It probably said it, and I just didn't read it when I ordered it. Okay, this is a reproduction German World War II cigarette roller. Um, and it tells you, it's got instructions on the inside on how they use it. But just look at the design of this thing. That is so cool. Um, I'm going to have to figure out how to use this, because I have no idea how to use one. But I thought this was a very cool item to add here. Wow, we're cleaning up here. And we're not done yet. All right. Got another item here. It is, I wonder what this could be. I don't remember. Shut up, shut up. Oh man, I forgot to order this guys. Wow, this is so cool. Okay. Okay, this is so freaking cool. Like this is extremely, extremely neat. We're going to use this thing as soon as possible. Wow. Okay, so this is a German World War II coffee maker or coffee filter. And basically, this is designed to put over your cup, just like this, put your coffee in, and it makes your coffee for you. You just pour hot water in here. That is stinking neat. That is so, so neat. It is original. Um, it's an original German coffee maker from World War II. And it's Melkina or Mela 100. You guys take a look at it there. Look at that. That is so stinking neat. Holy Madonna, dude. That is cool. Wow. So that appears to be it. We have finally come to the bottom of the tin. And we've got some nice reusable plastic bags as well, which is always a plus. Um, some of you guys have mailed things to before you've gotten bags from Wars and Shop. Hey, that's what recycling is all about, eh? But, uh, wow. So, everything you see in front of me come from Wars and Shop. Really weird echo. But, uh, this is so neat. So stinking neat. This, this is all from Wars and Shop.com. Uh, Craigson Militaria. Also known as Craigson Militaria. You can Google either one and it will pop up. I will leave a link to their site in the description down below. And you can go there for yourself. If you're getting into World War II reenacting or if you are in World War II reenacting and you do not know about this place yet, you're welcome. That's all I got to say. You get, you're welcome because this place is so freaking neat. Um, no, they don't have many uniform items. They got some uniforms, spill gear, but all of your personal stuff can be found there. And it's all pretty much original stuff. Or the reproductions are like next to none. I mean, this does not even look like a reproduction. Nowhere even close to it. I mean, this is this is awesome. So, yeah. Go visit them, warsinshop.com. Get some stuff to add to your impression. And your setup. Your office. Whatever. And uh, I'm going to enjoy this. So until next time, guys, keep preserving history. Stay safe. We will hopefully see you soon. See you then.